Let's take a look at our services in action with our services. Services. Communication services. We provide services and services. You guessed it. Apple's event today was about services. Oh, and yeah, Oprah was there too. Apple! Today's Apple event was really different for the company because Apple's usually introducing hardware, iPhones, iPads, Macs. But today it was all about software or services. And because we're so used to Apple introducing hardware, they actually defined what a service was for us. So nice of them. Well, if you look it up in the dictionary, you'll see that a service is defined as the action of helping or doing work for someone. Apple divided up the event into four big service announcements. The one I found the most interesting. Today, we're introducing a brand new service, and we call it Apple Card. Yes, working with MasterCard and Goldman Sachs, Apple is releasing a credit card. It integrates right with Apple Pay on your iPhone, so you can track spending and spending over time. There's no fee for the credit card either. And Apple's making a really big deal of privacy and security with this, which was something we saw a lot of today. Each payment includes a one-time dynamic security code, which protects your card number from being used without your authorization. The craziest thing about this announcement for me was that Apple's actually also making a physical credit card because some places don't accept Apple Pay on your phone. And this credit card is made in the typical Apple way, titanium, metal. It's coming out in the summer, but just in the United States. I am so excited to show you the new Apple TV app. Possibly the biggest announcement of the day was related to TV and video. The company announced two things related to TV. There's first this new TV app that combines all the different services you pay for into one interface. So Hulu, HBO, Showtime, you don't have to jump between app to app, you can just watch it in this one central interface. Absent from this is Netflix. You won't get Netflix here, you'll still have to jump out to the Netflix apps to watch your Netflix. The crazy thing here is it's not just available on the Apple TV. You can also get it on a Mac app that's coming. You can get it on your iPhone, iPad, but also other types of TVs, Samsung, Roku. But the biggest part of the TV bonanza was that Apple announced Apple TV Plus. And this is Apple's original programming to rival Netflix and Amazon and Hulu. And oh boy, did it roll out the red carpet. This is my first time at Apple. I'm pretty stoked. Steve, is there anything else that you want to add? No. Details on Apple TV Plus were pretty vague. It's coming this fall, it's gonna be ad-free, but we don't know how much it's gonna cost. And leave it to Oprah, she did the best job of explaining why you'd wanna be on an Apple device. Because they're in a billion pockets, y'all. A billion pockets. <laughs> Next on the list was Apple News. You could call Apple News Plus the Apple Netflix of news. You pay $9.99 a month, and you get over 300 popular magazines, including Vogue, National Geographic, Wired, The New Yorker. And then you also get access to newspapers, like the LA Times and the Wall Street Journal. And finally, there was Apple Arcade, which is a gaming service. It's a single subscription service, and you'll get access to 100 plus games, including exclusive games only available for Apple devices. And it will work across platforms so you can play a game on your phone or start a game on your phone and then pick it up on your Apple TV or your iPad. It was a jam-packed event with lots of announcements. But when you really step back from it, you look at how many subscriptions you could be paying Apple for a month. And it adds up to like three or four or five, depending on what you decide. When you consider iPhone sales have slumped, Apple's really focused now on services. With our services and services. 